First of all, this is not a dig at anyone making Nat You're Not videos. They're getting a hell of a lot more views than me, nor is it a dig or an analysis of the people that are featured in those videos. But as someone who is in the fitness space, who is interested in the fitness space, I do find it very curious. I find myself wondering every time I'm scrolling through my feed and I see those three words, natty or not, I always think to myself, what is the fascination there? Why are so many people tuning into this topic? Let's take the big dog, Mike O'Hearn, for example. If I took a picture of Mike O'Hearn to my mum, who is not into the fitness industry, she is a lovely older lady who goes to the gym, yeah, to take care of her health, but she doesn't know anything about enhancement, TRT, etc, etc, etc. And I asked her what she thinks of Mike O'Hearn. The first thing she'd say from her non-expert perspective would be, it looks like he's on steroids. And of course she's coming from that perspective that anyone with above average levels of muscularity must be on something in order to achieve that. And from that perspective, she probably thinks I'm on something secretly too. And she doesn't really take into account age, body fat, muscle mass, etc. It's just basically black or white. You're either on steroids and you have muscle, or you're not and you don't. But the point is, if my mum has figured Mike O'Hearn out, figured him out, and she's not really involved in this space, she's not really interested in this space, then what are people who are interested in this space, who do have that little bit of knowledge, what are they looking for when they watch these videos? Let's do a quick Google search. Is Mike O'Hearn Natural. Of course he's not natural. Does anyone still think he's natural? Is there even one person on earth that thinks this guy is natural? Oh yeah, just as I thought, just as I thought. So that's it, you've got your validation. Somebody agrees with you. But nobody ever looks beyond that. Nobody looks into the work that goes into it. Even with enhancement, the amount of work that guy or these guys that get spoken about over and over, nobody considers the amount of work they're doing, the amount of expertise they have. Because when people see natty or not, the way people tend to interpret it, the general populace is, are they a cheat or are they not a cheat? And I feel that the answer comes down to, yes, Yes, they are a cheat, so that invalidates everything else. And trust me, this isn't me standing up for enhanced athletes like some sort of big brother. You're my older brother, and I love you. In fact, the fake natties, the ones who are making millions of dollars based on their lies, I love it when they get exposed. When More Plates, More Dates, Derek made that video on Liver King last year, that was like fucking cinema. And I'll tell you why it was different. Because it was layered, because it had a narrative, because there was evidence to back up what he was saying. It wasn't simply someone sat in a camera guessing about someone else and using that to get views. It was so beautiful, in fact, as was the Liver King's beautiful reaction to it, that I was actually half expecting that Derek, the Liver King, and maybe Steve, Vigorous Steve, were gonna announce some sort of joint business venture, some sort of products release shortly after, and I actually thought it might be all part of one big marketing scheme. As of now, that has not happened. Assuming it was organic, he called him out, he had the evidence to back it up. In that case, fucking great job. No, this isn't me jumping on YouTube, random small channel, trying to stand up for people who've got millions of followers. I'm sure they're fine without this. This is me advising my audience, who I believe are people who are newer to fitness. That's the way I imagine my audience to be. People who are newer to fitness, looking for advice, naturals, because I'm a natural. I'm advising you to stop focusing too much on other people. So to stop dismissing what other people have achieved just because they might have achieved it in a slightly different way to you. And I want you to start focusing 100% on yourself. Now, if you're naive enough to think that you can jump on Google, search for Chris Bumstead's training program, do that for a few weeks and look like Mr. Olympia, then maybe you need a little bit of a reality check. But I don't think most people are that naive. I think if you're past that stage of your fitness journey and you're looking at things realistically, you've got a good idea of what your genetic potential is, but you want to take that to the absolute limit. Who gives a fuck if The Rock or Mike Thurston or Chris Hemsworth or Morgan Freeman, who gives a fuck if they're natural or not because it doesn't affect you. What effect does that have on you? 
Ah, Will Ferrell was on 150 milligrams of this and 700 milligrams of this and three shots a week of this when he was filming Elf. Who gives a fuck? If you knew exactly what cycle The Rock was on, or Mike Thurston, or Chris Hemsworth, or Will Ferrell, does that mean you're going to go out there and copy them? Are you going to go down to your doctor, to your pharmacist, to your online dealer and say, this is what I want to be on? I don't think you are. Now, there's two ways to approach this fitness game. There is the holy way the all natural way, or there's the other way. And you know what? There are pros and cons of both. And trust me, there are pros of doing it the holy way. Now those pros might not be unbelievable muscularity, ridiculously low body fat, vascularity beyond belief, but how about long-term health? Keep them alive. We'll try. Rock up! Alive! It might not sound as glamorous or sexy, but to me, as a father of a small baby, long-term health has become my priority. And the reason I'm talking about this and I feel strongly about this right now is because I think I'm a good example of someone who has figured out where my goalposts are. You know that phrase, moving the goalposts. Well, how about figure out what your own goalposts are? I know that I'm never going to look like Chris Bumstead, and I don't want to look like Chris Bumstead. I know that I'm probably never going to look like The Rock. Probably. Definitely never going to look like The Rock and I don't want to look like The Rock. What I want to do is maximize my personal potential and in order to do that, I need to find the best training, the best nutrition, the best supplementation, the best lifestyle that is going to help me to do that. And that is the advice that I give on this channel. Now, you don't have to copy me. You, don't, you might not think that I'm that impressive, but you have to find that for you. What I'm saying is, think about your own goals, Think about your potential, think about what's realistic, and find what works for you. Listen, this video, no hate to anyone, no hate to the people who make the Natty or Not videos, not that you care what I think. I'm trying to get a little bit of that views pie right now myself. No hate to the people who are in the videos. Of course, people can do what the fuck they want. We're all grown men, grown women. We can do what the fuck we want. We can put what we want in our body, and we have to be accountable for ourselves. But I guess what I want is to get fitness back to being a personal journey, your own personal journey. Stop focusing on others so much. It's not like supporting a sports team. Yes, it's good to be inspired by others. It's good to learn from others, but stop focusing on others and putting others on a plateau and therefore putting yourself down or even worse, using others as an excuse for your laziness. Ah, oh, he's on drugs. I can't achieve that. In that case, I won't be lazy. No, fuck that. Get out there, get in the gym, work your bollocks off, eat well. That's the main thing. Eat fucking better and you're going to see some great results. Don't look like Michael Hearn now. I imagine if you jumped on the same cycle as Michael Hearn, you're probably not going to look like him either. Maybe he is a genetic freak who is enhancing those genetics. And if you did somehow find that Michael Hearn was in fact, after all these years, natural as he claims to be, then that's just going to make you feel even more shit about yourself. So what really do you want when you watch those videos? That's it for this one, guys. Hope I've given you a little summit summit to think about. Like, drop a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, support the channel channel. My views have been pathetic lately, so if you can assist me to help get this video out there in any way possible, I'll be forever in your debt. Until next time, guys, have a good day. Bye-bye.